Welcome back, Hananiga, Algebra 1. Uh, next lesson will be on 11.4, two-way tables. Um, and your homework assignment will be a pra uh, worksheet, practice A and B. But how can you read and make a two-way table? Basically, if you have two pieces of information, for in this case, you have classes on the left-hand side. So these are categories, freshmen and sophomores, and then mobile access, yes or no. So now a freshman who said yes to mobile access or a freshman who said no, these are considered joint frequencies. Now the marginal frequencies would be when you actually add up the columns and add up the rows. So now going down, so the total number of people that said yes to this particular situation is 118. The total number that said no would be 34. Going across, total number of freshmen surveyed and total number of sophomores surveyed. So again, adding up the columns and adding up the rows are the marginal, marginal frequencies and then getting a total number. So 152 total people were talked to in this particular situation. So again, the marginal frequencies and then the absolute total. So the next one, you conduct a technology survey to publish on your school's website. The survey students school's cafeteria about the technology devices they own. The results are shown in the two-way table. Find and interpret the marginal frequencies. So how many said yes to a, excuse me, said yes to a cell phone? So going across, yes to cell phone going across would be 158, sorry there, Going uh, across, no to cell phone. And then tablet computer going down, no to tablet computer. Uh, and then total, total number of people spoken to in this particular situation is 243. So again, yes to cell phone, no to cell phone, yes to tablet, no to tablet, and then total number of people. You conduct a survey that asks 286 students in your freshman class whether they play a sport or a musical instrument. 118 of the students play a sport, 64 of the students play an, an instrument, 93 of the students do not play a sport or an instrument, organize results into a two-way table. So we kind of have two different questions here. So you have sport, yes or no. You have uh, musical instrument, yes or no. So let's go sport, yes, sport, no, instrument, yes, and instrument, no. So now, 118 of the students play a sport and 64 of those play an instrument. So yes to a sport and yes to an instrument is 64. And then 118 play a sport. So 118 total said yes to sport, of which 64 also play an instrument. 93 of the students do not play a sport or an instrument. So they're no and no. And so that was 93. No sport, no instrument. And remember, there was 286 people total that were surveyed. So there's the information that we know from the paragraph. Now, you need to fill in the blanks with the missing information. Remember, 118 people total were surveyed that said yes to a sport. So then how many were yes to a sport, but no to an instrument? So 118 minus 64 is 54. So again, the two numbers in the joint must also add up to the marginal. Now, again, going down in the instrument, instrument, no column. So 93 said no to sport and no to instrument. 54 was a yes for sport and a no, making a grand total of 10, let me try that again, adding up here, 147. So now, the next one going down, this one had to be 139, because remember, you had 286 total. Now going up into the yes for instrument, no for sport, this has to be a 75. And then going across, this has to be 168. 
So again, filling in the things that you don't know, knowing that the totals or the marginal frequencies have to add up to the, the rows going across and the columns going down. So filling in the information that we don't know. You try. Now I would hit pause. Go ahead and try to make yourself a little chart here as I'm going to start filling this out in just a second. All right, so here you go. You survey students about whether they are getting a summer job. 75 males respond with 18 of them responding no. 57 females respond with 45 of them responding yes. Organize the results in the two-way table. So now uh, you have male and female. So these are your students. And then your responses. So you're either a yes or a no. So now I'll read this one more time. You survey students about whether they are getting a summer job. 75 males respond. So the total number of males going across here, and I'm going to pick a different color here, 75 males respond, of which 18 said no. 57 females respond, of which 45 of them said yes. Organize the results in the two-way table and find include the marginal frequencies. So now remember, the number of yes for male has to be 75 minus 18. So 57, picking a different color here, 57 had to be here. In order for 57 and 18 must add up to 75. Again, 45 and 12 have to add up to 57. Now going downward, so adding that up, I get 102 in the yes category, 30 in the no category for a total of 132 people surveyed. Joint relative frequency is the ratio of the frequency that is not in the total row or the total column, but the total number of values of the duration. The marginal relative frequency is the sum. So here's what I'm saying. Basically, when you're each of the particular cells is going to be divided by the total number of people. Those are the joint relative frequencies. And then the marginal relative frequencies are then the sums of each row or column divided by the total. So here's the one thing I would remind each of you. Always divide by the total. So when you're talking about this, when you, whether you're talking about joint relative frequencies or marginal relative frequencies, you're always going to divide by the total. So in this particular situation, all of it stays the same. You've still got yes, you've still got no, you've still got the major, and you've still got the class. So we're talking about juniors and seniors. But when I want to actually come up with the joint and marginal relative frequencies, I actually need, I'm not sure why it's not here, but I actually need to come up with the marginal values. So I'm going to do that real fast here. This would be 225, adding that up. And so now 219 plus 236, calculator error here, 455. And so now 124 plus 219. 343. This would be 337 for a grand total of 680. So now the two-way table shows the results of a survey that asked college-bound high school students whether they plan to major in the medical field. Make a two-way table that shows the joint and marginal relative frequencies. So now each one of those cells is going to be divided by the total. So 124 divided by 680. So this would be 0.18. Uh, rounding, I, usually they round, I think, to two or three decimal places. I'm going to go ahead and go to three decimal, decimal places, so 0.182. Then 219 divided by 680. And so the next one would be 0.322. Seniors, 101 divided by 680, 0.149, and then the last one, 236 divided by 680. This would be 0.347. All right, 
This is why I did this, and, I, and some of your teachers are probably going to maybe disagree with you. I'm going to do 343 divided by 680, and then I'm going to explain another way to do it. So 343 divided by 680 would be 0 0.50. 4, which is also taking 0.182 plus 3.22. So you actually didn't have to do it the way I did it. You simply could have added the uh, 0.182 and the 0.322 and added the row going across. So the same with the next one, 337 divided by 680, or add up those two numbers going together. So 0.496. And then same going down. You can take 225 divided by 680 or simply add going down, which is 0 0.331. And then the last one, take 455 divided by 680 or add the column, 0 0.669. And then 680 divided by 680 is 1. Or adding, to the, adding the column and adding the row. So good luck on your homework assignment on two-way tables.